Hey guys, it's Ale. Today I released version 1.1 of Jesse, which has numerous bug fixes and improvements. But in this video, I want to show you the highlight of this release, which is this new feature that I've been working on for quite a while, and I'm really proud of it. So let's get right into it. If you update your Jesse instance, you'll notice that there is this new section called Strategies now. Let's click on it. And you can see we have the create a new strategy button here and also the browse free and premium strategies which is a link to our strategies indexing page. And by the way, in this month I also released new free and premium strategies. And some of these strategies are pretty cool and are beating my previous numbers such as this one. So if you haven't checked out this page for a while, now it's time to do so. Alright, let's go back to Jesse. If I click on the create a new strategy, in the past if I were to enter a name here, let's say test strategy and click on create then we would have to open our IDE in order to edit the source code of this strategy and we had no other choice but now if I click create it will immediately take me to this built-in editor which allows me to edit the source code right from within the dashboard you might notice that it looks very similar to VS Code and that's because it is VS Code in fact it's using the base repository of the VS Code editor so I can do pretty much everything in here. I can, I have some sort of autocomplete and I can do things such as saving by pressing command S or clicking the save button here. We have the search or I can open it by pressing command and F. We have the copy button. We have the delete button to delete this entire strategy and more. Now, creating a new strategy isn't exactly the reason why I implemented this feature. The main reason is for people who deploy their Jesse instances on the production server, and let's say you want to very quickly modify just one parameter of your strategy. Well, in the past, you had no choice but to do that with your local IDE, and updating your source code on the server was sometimes a bit of a hassle, and for people who are doing this constantly, it could have been time consuming. But now, you can just go to the sidebar and search for whichever strategy that you need, open its source code and just edit it right from here. And of course we also have a light mode as always, so you can choose whichever that works best for you. There's also a new settings page which you can use to customize this editor to your liking. So for example, I can change the style of the cursor, I can change the font size, the line height, I can enable the minimap, and I can see the changes and I will have a mini map just like I used to have in my VS Code. Now there are so many improvements and bug fixes in this release and if you want to know about those make sure to read the blog post that I published about this release and I'm going to link to it on the description section. Now by the way my next video is going to be about using the optimization mode of Jesse and I'm going to use it to optimize the previous strategy video that I published a few days ago. If you haven't watched that one yet go and check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.